So is Biggie about to be an uncle? Because these rumors about Chinwe being pregnant are starting to seem like more than just rumors. And guys, we don't know. We just might have a baby in the house. Let me welcome you guys to the Big Brother segment. And now, without further ado, let's talk about what's been going on in Biggie's house. So Chinwe happens to miss her period and there is a lot of tension. Should Biggie keep midwife on standby? What's going on? I mean, could this be a strategy? But if this is a strategy, it doesn't seem like it's going to work very well for them because I personally think it would work against them. Why I suspect a strategy is because I feel like if she was really pregnant, I don't think she'd want the housemates to know because at this point, it seems like almost all of them are away and Chinwe seems to be enjoying the attention. She's getting the publicity outside and inside. And guys, let me just say how much I love Victoria and Cassia's friendship. Guys, these people, that duo is so cute. I love it for them, especially for Victoria, because I still sympathize with her for the type of partner she came in with. Sean is... Hmm. Anyway, speaking of her partner, Sean, he was having a conversation with Fermi and they were discussing the possibilities of Biggie unpairing them in a few weeks. Then Femi went to ask Sean if he would like if that happened. And Sean's reply was, you already know my answer. Okay, no problem. I wish someone could actually just tell Sean that his ship will not keep him in that house. And as a matter of fact, I believe that being paired with Victoria is what has brought him this far in the house. So bro, you have to relax. And you know you will not last in that house if you are unpaired. Plus the ship that you're even relying on is starting to sink. And it's because of you. You have coconut head. Like, let me not even go too deep in this. This Sean seems to have too many issues. Like, where do you stand with Wani right now? I thought it was the three musketeers in quotes against the world. Why is Sean talking behind Wani's back? Is he trying to run away from their ship? Because imagine Sean telling Mickey about how him and Nelly were connecting at first, but he likes girls that make the first move and also said that Biggie made it easier for the guys in the house right now. What does he mean? First of all, it's giving Wani is cheap and you know accessible unlike nelly that is clearly classy and way above sean's league why are you proud like really why are you proud but just hold that thought don't bring that thought close to my girl victoria and cassia in chiwe's voice if you want to move mad move mad in one direction please so let's move on to an actual sailing ship and leave wani and sean in the mud well they are sailing in reality and not in biggie's house <laughs> but this week was filled with ups and downs for the double k they had an argument one time in the week but sadly kaya they did not allow us to even grasp even a tiny bit of information of what the argument was about but then we got to see how kelly ray was telling cassia that he hopes their effort is worthwhile so he can take her on trips after the show i really wish them the best these people might just be my faves in the house. So now I cannot be the only one thinking that Chinwe has been a bit too extra this week and it's given, I just want extra screen time. Like, Kayo did keep the camera on me. First, she's telling Zion that she's not feeling the connection between them anymore. She's saying that there is no romance anymore, basically. She's saying that she feels like they are more of siblings than they are romantic partners. And Zion is just trying to live his life. You are seeing this guy every day. It was easier for you guys outside the house because you guys were not living together. But you're living in the same space with this man. He has to hang out with the men. But you're thinking that's a problem. Why? Go hang out with your girls too. If you're not being so problematic, you probably have friends, okay? Thank you. Then secondly, she didn't attend the speed date rehearsals because she had beef with the checkers about their monthly task. Sister, why are you trying to be immature? Like, why? You need to you need to grow up. And one day, Biggie will soon remind you that you are in his house and not in your father's house because you're already getting too comfortable. Now, right before we end this segment, let's talk about Solomon Bucci and what he came to Twitter or X to yap about okay so he came on twitter and he's bashing the double k's talking about how they're making marriage look useless first of all my double k's have done nothing wrong in the house they came as a married couple with a strategy of being best friends and they are playing the game right i do not see what they are possibly doing wrong and why solomon Bucci cannot possibly mind his business first of all there have been other married men on that show just because they did not come with their partners these men did not get dragged I remember when Tega came into the house as a separated woman and people were dragging her and bashing her. What happened to Mike? 
What happened to fraud? What happened to CJ Self right now that his wife has born twins for him and he's not there? These men are married men and they've been in the house. They were not dragged. Solomon Bucci's head was not working that time, right? Okay, no problem. Anyways, this is the end of, you know, the gist segment. Until I come your way next time, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and let me know in the comment section what you think about everything I've talked about, okay? And let's hope that we are not expecting a child in that house because Chinwe, you came to win money. Oh. Ah, okay, no problem. Thank you. Bye, guys.